Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the Pika Tracer activity troubleshoot HSRP. We will uh, go through the objectives and uh, background. In this activity, we will uh, troubleshoot and resolve the HSRP issues in the network. We will also verify that all the HSRP configurations uh, meet the network requirements. And uh, here is our background. Currently, the users uh, can access www.cisco.pka the network has been updated to use hsrp to ensure the network availability to the users we must verify that the users can still access the website if one of the routers is down so r1 should always be the active router if it is uh, functioning here we can see our network requirements. HSRP virtual router is 192.168.1.254. HSRP standby group is 1. And DNS server is 209.165.202.157. R1 should always be the active router when it is functioning properly. R2 uses the default HSRP priority. All users should be able to access www.cisco.pka as long as one of the router uh, routers is a function, right? Next is a troubleshooting process in step one, PCs and laptops. Verify the PCs and laptops are configured correctly using the provided network requirements. Based on the network requirements as shown above, Verify that the PCs and laptops can navigate to www.cisco.pka successfully. Right, so we will check that. Coming to the topology, uh, we are going to access uh, this web page www.cisco.pka uh, from all these entity devices. Coming to PC0, right, web browser. Here we are going to give the URL. Yes, we are getting the web page coming to laptop 0 yes coming to laptop 1 yes we are getting the web page and coming to PC 1 right now we will check the PCs and laptops and their IP address submit to mask and default gateways coming to PC 0 right here we can see the details pc0 here we can see the ip address is 1.10 yes default submit to mask and default gateway here we can see the default gateway is uh, uh, assigned uh, incorrectly so we are going to give the default gateway a specified right coming to laptop 0 desktop here we will verify that Laptop 0, it's 1.11, right, default gateway 192.168.1.254, yes, it's correct. Coming to laptop 1, here we can see laptop 1, 1.12, default gateway is 1.254, so here we will uh, change that, right. Coming to PC 1 desktop pc1 yes it's correct now we will come to uh, step 2 troubleshoot r1 uh, disable the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 on r2 use the show commands to determine issues record and correct any issues found on r1 re-enable the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 on r2 First of all, we will disable the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash uh, 1 on R2. Coming to R2, enable configure terminal. We will go to the interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Here we are going to give the shutdown command. Yes. Now we will use the show commands to determine the uh, issues uh, coming to R1 CLI. Right here we are going to give enable the show command uh, show standby brief and here we will verify. Here we can see R1 is configured with the incorrect standby group. 
here we can see that they given 11 it should be a 1 and uh, it is not configured to preempt here we can see p indicates a configured to preempt so it is not set also here we can see the priority is set to 50 uh, the priority needs to be higher than 100 which is the priority on R2. We will correct these issues on R1. So coming to configure terminal, we will go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and we will remove the standby 11. So no standby 11. Now we will create standby 1 the IP 192.168 oops yes dot one dot two fifty four right now we will give a standby one priority one not one and standby one print Now we will re-enable uh, the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on R2. We have to give a no shut command. Right. Now we will come to uh, step 3. Troubleshoot R2. Disable the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on R1. Then use the show commands to determine any issues. Record and correct any issues found on R2. After verifying that the PCs and laptops can navigate to www.cisco.pka successfully, re enable the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on R1. First of all, we will disable the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on R1. So we'll exit. We'll go to the interface. Gigabit Ethernet uh, 0 slash 1 and we will give the shutdown command. Coming to R2. Right here we are going to give the show command. Show standby brief and here we can see uh, they set the group as a 111. So we are going to uh, change that. Configure terminal, we will go to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we are going to give no standby 111 and we are going to make, create the standby 1 IP 192.168.1.254 Now we will access uh, the web page www.cisco.pka from uh, uh, all these devices coming to PC0, desktop, web browser. Yes, we are getting. Right. Coming to laptop one. Okay. Coming to PC one. Right. Now we will. Uh, Re-enable the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 on R1. We'll give no shut command here. Yes. Coming to uh, step 4, verify connectivity. Verify all PCs and laptops can navigate to www.cisco.pka. Verify all the HSRP requirements uh, have been met. Again, we will try to access this web page www.cisco.pka. Coming to PC0, yes, coming to laptop 0, right, coming to laptop 1, coming to PC1, yes, yes, that's all in this Picotizer activity, here we can see our completion status, 10 out of 10. So in this video, we have seen uh, troubleshoot HSRP. Friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb 
and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get the latest uploading video info into our gmail thank you